And other parts of New Jersey were hammered with rain and high winds, although the National Weather Service stopped short of confirming if tornadoes touched down in other towns. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe spoke with people dealing with the aftermath of the storm. It's scary. The winds come by. You don't know if you're going to have a house. It was a wild night in South Jersey as Gloucester, Camden, and Burlington counties hunkered down in response to tornado warnings. Adam Rogers described what led to a tree toppling onto his neighbor's home on Valley Green Road in Deptford. It was like the craziest rain I've ever seen, and then the wind started picking up, and then I looked out the window and you could hear the windows rattling, you could hear them sucking in and out, and then it was over. It was crazy. One street over on Greenmount Avenue, powerful winds uprooted two very large trees. Fortunately, no one was hurt in either incident. A gust of wind came in and toppled over trees and just made a mess. We were we were just shocked. Josh Rogers says the situation was scary, but that he was prepared for the worst, thanks to a lesson at school on severe weather. I got a bag, put all of our phones in, a bunch of flashlights, a bunch of like portable chargers, a bunch of food and a bunch of like, drinks. So like if we need to, we can stay night somewhere. Blackwood Elementary School lost power and is closed today after that power line fire that happened right outside of the school. There were also several downed trees on this road leading up to the school as well. We were lucky we still had power but other people aren't as lucky as we were. Friday morning, PSE and G crews were out working on small pockets of outages still in the area, and a number of roads remained closed during the morning rush to allow cleanup of downed trees and wires. From South Jersey, I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News.